So why do hammerheads form these large schools? And why in these particular spots? Why at that just below the arch at Darwin? Why not right around the other side of the island? Well, that's, that's several questions all rolled together in one. Um, we think that these large schools form a very important social uh, function within the groups. Um, studies have shown elsewhere, and we believe this is the case in the Galapagos, that the, uh, the schools are ma made up mainly of females, and the largest ones seem to jostle for position in the centre of the school. So there's some kind of female hierarchy going on there. And then uh, males will come from the outside and kind of try and get in there to mate with the females. So it seems like the centre of the school is kind of the dominant position, and those are the females that are going to control mating. There may be other reasons, too. Um, the fact that these hot spots are so localised, it's where the current spits to go around the island. There's a sweet spot in there where the current isn't too fast. Is it some kind of resting phase, maybe, where they're safe within the centre of the school in terms of, uh, in terms of their navigation, they can kind of orient to other individuals and just circle the area. As they come back down, often they'll, they'll, they'll show their sides to the reef fish and come in closer and get cleaned off. So there's this cleaning service as well. But the reality is we, we just don't know yet and, and it's part of our ongoing research.